Hey guys, so today we're going to try steam baking using an Isbit stove and a canteen cup. As you can see, I've got my water on the boil. Alright guys, so while we're waiting for the water to boil, I thought I'd just go through with you what I bring. So, using Coughlin's fuel tablets. Um, and then I've got chocolate chips. And in this container, we have a uh, silicon cape cut. A silicon cupcake, um, I don't know, it's called mold thingy, and then the tin foil and um, my mix that I'm going to use. So yeah, I'm going to be making little mini cakes um, in here. I've made them before and they turned out pretty good, but I'm trying a slightly different method today uh, using the tin foil. I've just made up the mix. All I've done is poured a bunch of water in there and just mixed it up. I've gotten it to a decent consistency. Uh, it's a bit sloppy, but it'll work fine. And uh, yeah, so water's practically almost boiling. So this piece of tin foil, it's um, one of the like thicker pieces from like a baking sheet, baking tray. So this goes inside here and just sits like that so it makes a little stand so we've got that tin foil thing in there we've got our cake mix and our mold so we're just going to put some of this cake mix into the mold just going to load it up A little bit more. There we go. That'll do. Now, add some chocolate chips. This isn't necessary, but makes it taste quite good. Throw a bunch of chocolate chips in there. Water's almost boiling, and we've got that tin foil stand in there. So this is just going to sit on top like that, and the lid's going to go on top. I did say I was uh, trying a new method. If we just look down here, you might see that the tin foil is quite high and the cake thing sits really up there, but it should still work right. Now it's just a waiting game. Go wait for the water to really get boiling and uh, the steam will then start cooking the cake. So yeah, I'll get back with you when she's ready. All right, guys, so the cake's done, or at least it's mostly done. Um, so last time I did this, um, I just kind of floated the cake in the water, and that worked pretty well. But this time it's a bit more, there's a bit more like moisture to it. It's quite watery. Um, but... Yeah, I, I think that is just because of how close to the lid it was, so all the condensation was just dripping back into it. Um, yeah. So, 
I think this time I play around with it, I'll make the piece of tin foil a bit lower. Um, yeah, so the cake's a bit lower near the water as well. Alright, so this is the cake. As you can see, there's a little bit of moisture in there, but it's pretty, pretty cakey, but it tastes good. So yeah, this does taste really good. Um, it's really windy today, so tablets were having a bit of trouble um, heating the water. I think I need to make a windshield as well, that'll really help. But yeah, all in all, I think it was a pretty good success. And um, yeah. Like I said, I'll leave the um, link to where you can get this recipe. Um, yeah, I'll leave the link down below if you guys want to have a crack as well. But yeah, if you have any comments, feedback, or suggestions, feel free to leave them down below. Cheers, guys, I'll see you in the next video.